Hi, my name is Veronica, and today I'm going to talk about the Canadian politicians caught traveling outside Canada. have a lot of rant about this because millions of Canadians stayed home and battled this lonely, somber, and dark holidays that we have and yet we have politicians who went outside the country because they have enough of the pandemic or you know wifey is not having it and needs to have the sun. So we have several politicians, a lot of them are actually from Alberta but we also have several here in Quebec and Overall, there were numbers of Canadian politicians who left the country both in federal and in provincial level, mostly in the provincial level. And so, without further ado, uh, we already filmed this before, but turns out there's much more news happening after that one. So there's much more people, there's much more politicians that were caught traveling, revealed to be traveling outside Canada. The UCP, United Conservative Party, has had several of their members who revealed to travel outside Canada, in UK, in Hawaii, in the States, you know, all of, all of them. On a press conference by Premier Jason Kenney, Alberta's Premier, says that he's not going to penalize these people because he wasn't clear of his directive. I don't know, it was pretty clear to me, and I'm a common person. Um, my neighbors didn't leave, a lot of people didn't leave, the mother who cancelled her trip to go to Hawaii for her son to go travel, she cancelled her trip. So I don't understand why this politician need a clear directive. Like, what else do you need to do? Going to UK and have your house renovated is not an essential thing. A lot of people cancelled their plans for the holiday and yet these politicians are living in a different So it started with Ontario Finance Minister who revealed to have traveled to St. Bart's and it turns out that Premier Ford, which is Ontario's Premier, was aware of this vacation and yet he didn't do anything so he says it was a stupid dumb mistake and error of judgment. A lot of them had error of judgment apparently but you know, if I get caught, if I didn't do my job properly, I get fired, right? If you fucked up in your job, you get fired too, right? So, but if they fucked up, it's okay, it's fine, sorry, right? Hmm. So yeah, so there's a lot of rant happening in here. Um, we have Pierre Arcan here in Quebec who was caught vacationing at Barbados and he, of course he immediately went back here upon the knowledge that everyone was mad and he says he's not going to resign because he didn't do anything wrong because there's actual there's no actual law that was violated. Again, you are a politician, you are a public servant, you are supposed to be giving us a clear message you are supposed to send us a, an example of how we should be reacting and uh, reacting reagir under pandemic and it's such a slap in the face because i know several of my friends in the healthcare industry here in quebec who had their vacations cancelled way 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 before since some um, almost a year ago when the covid just started so you have all of these politicians who left to travel but our healthcare system which is in a dire need of break which is not happening because montreal quebec right now is having we're at the peak of our second wave we're averaging almost 3,000 infection rate per day which is not good oh. But yes, some of my friends who have their vacation cancelled because of COVID and they are in dire need of people. They work in 12 hours shift, they live with their families still. I know some of them are still living with their families. I know in the Filipino culture, most of us are still living with our families. They live in a smaller quarter, some of them are living in an apartment. So isolating yourself, having your own room, that's not a thing. First of all, it's kind of expensive. So working from home is a privilege for most. It only works mostly for affluent people. Most of, um, especially in my community, in the Filipino community, but also in the racialized community, working from home setup is not a thing. They still have to get up and work somewhere, somewhere else because it's just not an option 
they don't work in an office type environment they have to physically go out some of them work in a laborious work um, sector in the manufacturing sector in factories we have a lot in care giving sector or domestic sector and also they're not unionized so they don't even have any help whatsoever um, except nonprofit organizations it's just overall discouraging that Kenny refused to strip off there's members and a lot of critics were saying that he doesn't want to you know penalize all of his members because if it turns out that he penalized all of his members he, there's probably no members left in the UCP because most of them traveled so you can see how the detachment of a regular Canadian versus politicians who live in a different world while everyone else suffers and that's why we need to keep these people held accountable it is not fair that we're strugg struggling in here and we're bracing it as Canadian and we have our politicians our elected politicians who were caught traveling for example there's a lot of outcry happening because of Terry Allah she is a cabinet minister for municipal affairs you should be checking out uh, municipalities and what how are they doing and how are they being better coped right being helped Alberta is predominantly an energy and oil sector and a lot of their businesses in retail and service are severely hit not just in Alberta but everywhere else in the world but what are you doing you said that you're going to Hawaii because it was a tradition <sighs> that's quite sad anyway um we have our politicians who left the country meanwhile we have several us who are not protected i don't know where i'm going with this way ottawa was able to finally find a loophole well not find a loophole but close off the loophole about the crb travelers package help so for those who need to quarantine or isolate themselves they, they have an allotted money of one thousand dollars so that they can just stay home rest up in case they were exposed they tested positive for the virus and the travelers meant that people who were coming so there's back. also this thing that was people are very mad of there is a one thousand dollar for those who's returning back in canada and they must self-isolate or they were ordered to self-isolate due to covid or they were exposed to covid right and a lot of people were mad because it technically meant that people who traveled abroad can go back in here and say well you need to self-isolate because you traveled abroad for 14 days ottawa found a loophole to be able to close this meaning that the meaning of travelers in policy does not mean people vacationing so there was an outrage for that because people went and travel abroad and they are still eligible to get that one thousand dollars now you cannot do that but before yes technically speaking you can so there's that <laughs> I tried to really speak very fast for this one, so we'll see. Fucking shit. Okay, I'll stop.